He really was my little sweetheart. That's one of the last things that I... Sorry, um... It's okay. One of the last things that I said to him uh, before that day was, you'll always be my little sweetheart. Her son, Justin, he had such big plans. The hardest thing for me where my trauma really stems is, you know, driving to the hospital. That part of, of realizing, you know, where we were at and what options we had and there, there weren't many. 17-year-old Justin Schilling was murdered in the bathroom at Oxford High School last year on November 30th. He was in there with another student when the shooter came in, presumably to reload his weapon. That's when Justin told the other boy to run. Then he was the one shot and killed. Written right on his death certificate in ink, the trauma that took his life. How do you deal with that empty, you know, seat? It's tough. Um, we did celebrate Justin's what would have been his 18th birthday, and you know we did that, and we had a we had a, a chair at, at the table for him. Justin's mother, Jill Suave, says he was a scholar student, played every sport, and had just visited Oakland University, where he wanted to study business this fall. But beyond all that, his mom says it was his heart that made him special. He was just lovable and his personality was inviting. You know, you'd want, you'd, you'd want more of him. You'd want to be around him. A true gentleman, even if we went out for ice cream, he wouldn't let me pay. Once he started making money, mom, you know, I've got you. He was the guy that would sit with the new kid at school, his family learning of those countless acts of kindness only after his death. And he went out of his way to make everyone around him feel special feel loved and to feel included. You know, that's something we can all do, especially in school. His heart made him special in life and in death. In all of the chaos that tragic day, his parents making the decision to donate Justin's organs. He's looking down, he's with us now. Um, very proud, very proud, very happy with that decision. And, and that's probably something that made it uh, easy for, for us to decide to you know, um, go through with the organ donation. He was brain dead, but his body, his organs miraculously were perfect. Who are these folks that were able to go on? Each one of them is waiting for a family like Justin's and, and Justin himself to um, step up and say yes to organ donation and, and their lives literally depend on it. Dory Dills is the president and CEO of Gift of Life Michigan. She says they were able to harvest his lungs, liver, kidneys and valves from his heart. We talk about our donors as, as heroes and recipients really see them as that. They're, the impact that they have on their lives is immeasurable. Truly knowing that Justin spent his, his final moments protecting another student and then saving six lives with his organs, it's no small feat, you know, and I feel part of my, my honor and duty as a mother is to let the world know that Justin's a hero. A heartbreaking but moving experience for this family. I felt like when I first arrived at the hospital, like I, like I lost my faith but seeing the outpouring of love and support, I gained it back instantly and at a, at a much deeper level than I ever knew existed. Jill is a mom too to Justin's older and younger brothers. The empty seat now at their table puts into perspective what she still has here to live for. It's difficult being a mom of teens. There's hormones, there's moods, but this is really put in perspective um, for me and I'm sure for many others that you know, focus on what matters, love your kids. When they push you away, love them harder. She says it doesn't get easier, it gets different. I can't go back to that day and, and change anything, but I can stand strong in the present moment and face whatever it is to come. Learning now to accept the permanence of his passing, but she still talks to Justin every day and wears a locket of his hair around her neck for comfort when times are unimaginably painful. You don't get over something like this, you know, so I've had to let go of a five-year plan, 10-year plan, things of that nature. I just want to make sure everyone is okay in the moment. You know, are we happy? Are we healthy? Are we fed? Is there love? And we're good. Reporting in Oxford, Jessica Dupnak, Fox 2 News.